What is good everybody on YouTube? It is your boy Forge Ripperton back at it again with another vid 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 yit did yit did yit did What's poppin' everybody? How y'all feeling today? As y'all can see, we back in our normal habitat, our normal environment, you know what I'm saying? I got my pillow right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this, you know, sad back ticket out the out the way. Also, I'm recording on my 7 Plus right now. I'm recording on the like regular front camera of the phone or back camera, whichever one you want to call it. Not this selfie camera, the regular camera on my 7 Plus because I was trying to give y'all the best quality on this. The reason that I'm using my 7 Plus is because I'm actually using my phone for today's video. So yeah, I'll be using this phone. So hopefully the quality and the sound and stuff like that sounds pretty good because y'all know this is the first phone that I was recording on for like most of my videos until I got this phone so hopefully it's recording well it's doing good but yeah since I have this phone right here and since you can see the title today we are going to be basically like shopping with me on Depop today um I normally do some shopping on other like websites and stuff like that but the main site that I've been on main app that I've been on lately is Depop so that's what we're going to be um, doing today. We're going to be shopping on Depop today. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the screen record on my phone so we can get right into this um, shopping situation. Now, I got like the mirror on the other side so I can like see where I'm at, see if I'm not too close, too far and all that there. Hopefully I don't got like lint in my hair, my lips not looking stupid in my bed, not looking too beady because I'm like doing this blindly right now. So hopefully y'all fucking with me right now. But we're going to go ahead and go into this. The screen should be up right now. And yeah, so this is normally what I do whenever I'm shopping. I just go on Depop. Um, this is actually my regular page right here. It's called Found Love. Uh, lonely, loneliest of the lonelies. And this is where I sell most of my pieces. You see, I have the pink sweater, the happily happy me pink sweater. And then on the back it says, I'm a lover but can't fight. Um, and then these are the hats. I actually just sold two hats the other day. Um, so I'll be shipping those out as well. But yeah, this is normally where I sell all of my like happily happy me stuff. And when I start up my thrift store again, this is where I'll be putting pieces up. As y'all can see, I got like a lot of happily happy me stuff. But at, once you start scrolling down, you can see like the different little pieces that I did have on here. Um, I had like this Nautica Coat. Um, I had this like Harley Davidson cow joint that I really fucked with. Um, yeah, these are the pants that I be making. Remember in my other video, I told y'all about these black pants that I did with the smileys on them. It's low-key low. -key low and then it got like the paint splatters on them and stuff like that. And I made some with the butterflies and all that there. So yeah, this is my page right here. So if you guys have never been to my actual Depop page to like purchase anything or just look, this is the page right here. And as y'all can see at the top, I have nine things in my cart. So I'm basically going to show you guys what's in my shopping cart cart right now. Um, I put a couple pieces, as you can see, like I said, I got nine pieces in here. I put a couple pieces in the cart, um, things that i just been finding. So we can go ahead and go into the cart right now. Um, this first piece right here, like all of these are from different sellers. So like on Depop, if you see something you like, and you uh, put click buy now at the bottom. I'll click on this right now. It says bagged right now, but normally it'll say like buy now in yellow. And when you press it, it'll go to your cart, go back to the cart. And then it'll be like separated like this because these are all different buyers. I mean, all different sellers on the site. So you could check out individually. You can't just like buy all of them at the same time because they're going to be coming from different people so the first thing on my uh in my shopping cart is from this person right here and it's this we in champion um reverse weave uh sweater i really really like these reverse weave champion sweaters this is the same type of sweater as that um rutgers black uh joint that i have right there and the thing i like about these is first of all because of the quality on it it's like heavy it's like a heavy cotton on it and it just fits really good um i normally cut the bottom off like y'all see the little like elastic on there i normally cut that off with these sweaters that's what i did with that one because i like the way it's like cropped and things like that so yeah this looks pretty good i like the like fadeness of it like it's faded i love that green on there as y'all can see i see like the little stains and like the like fading and stuff on the sleeves and stuff like that. I actually like stuff like that on my 
pieces. I love that like vintage wash, that vintage like wear and tear feel. Like it gives me that ultimate like grunge feel. So I really fuck with this. Um, it's 40 bucks, not too bad. I would probably like try to negotiate and get them to give it to me for like maybe like $30. Maybe as low as 25, see how they feeling. They feeling a little bit froggy or not, but definitely love this sweater. I love the fit of it and all that there. So I know what it feels like and fits like. So that's also another plus. I have a couple pieces here. So when I am shopping online, I don't have to question how it's going to feel, how's it going to fit and shit like that. So I'm pretty much cool. And then this other one right here, I have this uh, like flannel shirt. Um. As y'all know, if y'all been following me for a while, y'all know I love flannel shirts. Um, I don't have any in my closet right now. I know it's getting hot, but I kind of wear flannels no matter the weather. What Uzi say, uh, I wear jackets no matter the weather. I'm kind of the same like with flannels. I just love flannels. So I love this like brownish tone on it. It looks pretty good. Well, it's not really brown. It's like a burgundy um, tone on it. But I really, really love this. And it's 20 bucks. It's really not a bad price at all. Um, it's a large, so it's not going to fit too oversized, but it's not going to fit too small. This one, I'm kind of iffy on it. I don't know if I would buy it. Like, That's the one thing I don't like about um, shopping online. Like I said, if you have pieces, it's easier to shop for the same kind. But when you're shopping for brands and pieces that you've never had before, you're kind of like playing with fire low-key and not knowing how it's going to fit on your body and shit like that. So I'm kind of like risky with this one, but... I don't know if I'm going to buy this one yet. I just put it in my cart because I really do like it. Um, but yeah, 20 bucks that's definitely not bad. Uh, and then this one right here, I really, 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 really like this shirt right here. As you can see, um, it was a t-shirt. You could tell that somebody actually like physically cut it like this. It didn't come out like this. So they cut the collar off to make it like super low. I fuck with that because like I have tattoos, so it's definitely going to look sweet. Um, and then they cut the sleeves off. And the, like I was telling y'all about the wash and like the dinginess, I love the wash on it, the fading, the graphic is pretty cool. It's a Harley Davidson tank top, so I really fuck with that. It said it fits like an XL. It's twenty five dollars, kind of not too bad. I would definitely try to get them to give it to me for like twenty dollars, uh, maybe maybe even fifteen. Um, that's the best thing about this too. Like instead of shopping in the store and you're actually buying from people, you're able to like negotiate with them. So that's definitely what I'll be doing with them. Try to like negotiate. And a lot of times people are able to like bring their prices down as long as you don't lowball them. But yeah, I definitely love this. It has a little graphic on the back. So I definitely like that. These kind of shirts definitely look fire with people with tattoos. So like this person right here, they have tattoos. So it kind of makes it look even better. But yeah, um, I kind of do like this. Like I said, I wouldn't pay twenty five for it. I'll try to like get a lower price. So definitely fuck with that joint. And then we have another like sweater. This is like a college sweater. I know we all love college sweaters. Um, yeah, what brand is this? I don't know what brand. Oh, it's a Fruit of the Loom Super Cotton sweater, and it's like this like pinkish color. The same that I would do with that sweater, that I did with that sweater, I would probably chop this off too and make it like a little bit cropped. I really love this like pink on it. That pink just looks really good to me. And then that big bold like um, university, like just the font of it, I really like that too. It's just basic, simple, but not doing too much and all that there. So definitely fuck with this joint. 20 bucks, definitely not a bad price. That's really a good price. You know what I'm saying? If I had this and I was selling it, I probably would be selling it at the same price. So definitely like this. You can see it has like a little bit of like paint stains or whatever that is on there. Um, is it crackling? And it got the like crackling in the actual font, the Bradley uh, University. I like that. Adds just even more character to the uh, to the sweater. Um, but yeah, 20 bucks extra large definitely would fit me perfect. Uh, so yeah, definitely like that. And then this seller right here. Um, I actually had two things in my cart from them. But one of the shirts, it was like this like race car shirt. One of them has sold. Um, it was like a double XL. I really liked it, but it was sold. But this shirt right here is like this um, Mario and Luigi character shirt. Extra large, 20 bucks. I like this as well. Um, I feel like the fit would be decent. It's a gilded shirt. So with gilded shirts, mm, they're kind of like iffy. Not all gilded shirts like really fit that good. Um, sometimes the quality of the shirts aren't that good. Uh, so 20 bucks, not bad. I probably try to get them to give this to me for like 15 uh you know what I'm saying? 15. I don't want to lowball too much, but 15 probably is the lowest they'll probably go. But since it's a gilding, I don't want to pay too much for this. 
but yeah, I do like the graphic on here. I love white vintage uh, tees. This is basically like a little like reprint or something. Probably somebody just did that. But yeah, I love the little graphic on it. It looks pretty sweet. Uh, nothing too crazy, nothing serious. But yeah, I definitely like that. 20 bucks, mm, probably 15. Uh, but yeah, and this this seller right here, I'm actually thinking about getting this like ASAP. I might get it when we get off of, like when I get off of this. But they have this one shirt right here, this vintage like race car shirt for $14.99. The prices is, is really, really decent for this shirt. And it has a graphic on the back showing like the starting lineup and shit like that. I really, really, really like this shirt. It's an extra large. That's normally the size shirts that I buy are extra large or largest. Sometimes I looked at the measurements when I'm um, trying to buy it because sometimes shirts fit too big or sometimes they fit too small. So I check out the um, measurements on it. But yeah, it says a salute to heroes starting lineup, uh, Dover International Speedway. Nice little race car shirt. Got like little paint stains and stuff like that on it. Uh, yeah, condition is used. Don't expect to receive brand new shirt. Typical $14.99. Definitely like this shirt. I don't know how I feel about it all the way, but I do like it. I don't know if I want to buy it. Yeah, I have to like DM them and ask them for like measurements and shit like that and see if they have the measurements on it. But definitely like that. And then this uh, hoodie right here, I really, really, really love this hoodie. And it's fucking $9.99. $9.99. Like that is a perfect, perfect um, price. It's a vintage yellow champion hoodie worn and heavily distressing on the sleeve as well as bleach stains, small stains throughout. Still amazing piece. Um, I really like this. You can see, like they said, paint stains, bleach stains. I really like that. It's an extra large, so it should fit me perfect. Um, yeah, I feel like the paint stains and stuff just adds that character to it. And that yellow, like that muted yellow, it's not too bright. It's like a faded yellow. I really fuck with that. Um, so, yeah, I really, really, really do like this. I fuck around and probably do buy this. It's not 99 like, and plus tax, like shipping and shit like that. It's probably not even going to be that much. Probably going to be like... Fucking $15 at the most. So that's definitely not that. I fuck with this for sure. So I'll probably be copping this joint when we get off of here. Then this seller right here. I've actually had this shirt in here for a while now. Because I've been debating. Because I don't know how it's actually going to fit on me. But it's a Cleveland Indians uh, shirt. Not too bad. It's the same brand as that one shirt that I have. That like race car shirt that I have. The Nutmeg um, Mills brand. I, I picked this shirt out because it has the same brand, so I was like, maybe it'll fit the same way as my other shirt. Um, so yeah, Cleveland Indians, 1995 Vintage Nutmeg Graphic T-shirt, extra large. So it's $11.05, definitely not a bad price, and $5 in shipping. So definitely fuck with this joint. Uh, just a simple like white vintage tee, and it's eleven oh five. so you can see it was originally 13 but they took the price down. But like I said, I've had this shirt in here for a while now, so... I probably do cop it soon. Um, I might cop it when I cop that sweater. Who knows? I don't know yet. But yeah, I do like that as well. And this is the last piece that's in my cart for now. And it's this like vintage. Well, it's not really. Mm, it's not really a vintage, but it's like a some kind of like university zip up hoodie. As you can see, it's sold. I didn't buy it. I had this in my cart for a super long, like a month or two now. So it definitely was cool but it literally just got sold today like when i looked at it yesterday it wasn't sold but as you can see it's sold but i like this joint it's an extra large nice little gray what's the name but i wasn't really pressed for it so that's why i let it sit in the cart for as long as i did but yeah definitely a decent little zip up hoodie i do need some more like zip up hoodies and like over like over the pullover joints but this was a nice little joint this sold so i can't really buy it but other than that, yeah, that's pretty much everything that's in my cart. Uh, yeah. But yeah, like if yo if you guys want like a video, I can actually like show y'all how I shop, like how to shop better on Depop, because I see that a lot of people don't even know what Depop is or don't really shop that much on here because it's kind of like a hassle. So I can kind of show you guys like what I do and my like different techniques on how I find different pieces and shit like that. Because when you first go into it, it's kind of hard to like find stuff if you search like my man's Walter he told me when he go on Depop he actually just searches up the actual thing that he wants but that's not really what I do I do something totally different to help me find a variety of things so if you guys want that video on like how to shop better on Depop definitely comment below and let me know that but yeah that's pretty much my um shopping cart that I have so far I'm still been doing a lot of looking like I was looking today to see if I could find anything but yeah, that's pretty much everything that I have in my cart right now. And yeah, I don't know what pieces I'm going to buy yet, but 
like that yellow hoodie, I'm literally might cop that joint after I finish recording this video. But yeah, and then if I cop some more pieces off camera and shit like that, we'll definitely do a haul video if I start to go crazy, you know what I'm saying? Me not being able to shop, actually go to a thrift store has been draining the hell out of me. So me being able to go on Depop and look at some fire pieces has, you know what I'm saying, brought that, that, that life back to me, you know what I'm saying? It gave me some more life. So hopefully... I can find some more pieces and I can make something happen. But yeah, that's pretty much everything in my cart. You dig what I'm saying? Also, I wanted to show you guys this shirt right here. Um, I realized that I didn't show y'all this like right after I finished um, editing the video. So that's why y'all don't see my face or anything. But I had to show y'all this joint right here because it's so fucking fire. Um, I literally just copped this like an hour ago. This Betty Boop vintage joint. Um, it's just so fire, y'all. This is actually a single stitched um vintage shirt so that means it's definitely vintage as hell as you can see it's from 1993 but when i saw this shirt like i had to i had to cop this joint at first i didn't cop it because he had it at like 80 bucks so i got him to give it to me for 60 dollars um a lot of people might think that's crazy but i definitely needed this joint that all over print like just covering the whole front like that was just super fire but yeah i remembered it right after i finished editing the video so I was like, no, I can't leave this out. So, yeah, this is a shirt that I literally just copped, like, not too long ago. And he said it will be shipping it out tomorrow. So, I can't wait to see this joint and see how it fits on my body. But, yeah, this is the shirt I had to show y'all. Tell me what y'all think about this.